Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Noah Chuck coming at you with yet another Star Trek Fleet Command stream. Today, we are actually going to take a look at the building of the or building of the ship, the Crozier from Archimedes. He is the one building the ship and showing us it off, actually on the live stream, so you guys can see this on the YouTube side of it. Don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe, that bell notification down below. Remember, in the subscription or description, don't forget to join the Discord. And don't forget to watch my streams on Twitch. That's where we do all this at. And don't forget, there are donation links listed down below. We have a PayPal, a Cash App, a Venmo, and a Zelle if you actually want to hit it. So go check it out. And if you want to get a hold of me for Zelle, just click it and hit me up on Discord. So let's go take a look at the building of the Crozier. Archimedes, hit the button, dude. Let's get down to business for building this big, sexy, rare, or rare G5 ship. The battleship. So here's a Crozier, 350, well, it costs 450 billion trick to build, 13.1 billion to lithium to build, 36 days to build it. It would start out at 111 million in power. Its ability is to decrease hostile crit damage by 2% for five rounds, which is muscle menos. And if we go down, go down Archimedes to this warp range, I want to see what the start of the warp range is at the beginning. So we get all our normal information. Don't really pay attention to the defensive bonus, negative 100. That's going to screw up. Uh, it's impulse speed is 118, so it's a little slow. Warp range is 380. Warp speed is 38.4. Cargo capacity is 339k. Uh, protected cargo is 30.70k. It's kind of low, but whatever. It's just a ship. Forget about the mining bonus. And if we go down to the USS Corsair, the newest battleship in design and construct of Utopia Plantation fleet yards, this sturdy ship can take quite a beating due to the reinforced dur uh, duranium plating at this fore and aft of the main saucer and along with the nacelles the uss crozier features a compact design the better to avoid enemy fire aka it looks like a beefed out voyager in my opinion all right let's hit that build button archimedes we go 36 days 36 days which is going to be done in less than 36 seconds Let's click that button. Let's waste 30 of the boom. Let's one more 10. Bam. We're almost there. We're almost there. Boom. Let's take a look at this beautiful beast. It is a armor plated goddess of a ship with, well, Turrets everywhere up the wazoo. It is a floating battle station, basically. It is a beefy battleship. This is what we call a battleship in the game. Besides your Tribune, where once it comes to here, we're gonna take a 360 ship, just a very slow 360 ship of two. Just mm, watch the ship, how it actually looks, and see exactly what it is. So take that 360. Look how beautiful the ship is to us. Look how utterly gorgeous the ship is is it we'll take a look at it one more time brett so once we get back to the front let's take a look under the saucer section it says brett thinks it's an ncc 2501 so let's go around Ooh, this thing is a godly beast if we take a look at it let's take a look right there uh i think it says that i can't tell 22 Let's try the top of the saucer. It might actually have it up there too. Yeah, 20, 2501. 2501, yes. All right, let's hit that done building. Let's take a look at the upgrade cost for Archimedes. How bad is it going to cost them to actually upgrade the ship? Because it's going to hurt even looking at. So, Rose, you're off the bat 133 in dock. Hit that upgrade tier button. One. Tier one. It's a baby tier. Let's see how bad it is. So let's look at the parts. So what it talks, Jesus, 350 or 8K and G5 common, 8 or 1K, blah, blah, blah. Let's click the next button. So about 1.1K. So it already starting with uncommons off the bat. That's kind of abnormal for a tier one ship, to be honest. Usually it's just all commons right off the bat. See, look at more G5 uncommon to start off the bat. It's warp range increased about 6%, but gives about a 25% warp range, which gives about 405 in distance, which is at the base level of all the systems because the max warp range is about 500 for most systems in the game. All right, so we have more uncommon, of course, 5.4K of uncommon. It's 138 billion. Oof, that is hurting my soul. 
that is hurting my soul. Another 184. At least he has his mess hall a little bit higher, so it's helping him out in this. Another oof. Big oof, in my opinion. Oof, this thing's costing an arm and a leg. And what he can't upgrade the, la upgrade the last part. So he's going into tier 2 at 142k, which I'll use an experience set to upgrade it. And this should have added the extra deck slot, if I remember right. Another 8k for the warp range, which how much do you add with that one? Uh, uh, uh. Another 25, so we get to 430 warp range. Yeah, which is nice. Yes. And if you throw a warp range on Strani, it would be easily above the 500 mark. Boom, 147k, another bump to it, another 1,994. I'm surprised it's not using uncommon ship parts yet. Yeah, yeah, this is a keyword. It's probably at tier three. We already using uncommon just material in general. This is hurting to watch. Well, you have the 7.3 trillion tritanium. I would hate to see this thing explode how bad it's going to cost. 7.4. Okay. Now we're going to tier three at 153 million without experience yet. And we have only a few more parts we can upgrade unless Ark starts dropping more metaphasics. 14K for the warp range, which how much would give you another 25? We'll put you at 455. But these are big bumps. It's still not bad if you're looking at the upgrade costs of material wise. Oh, there's your uncommon. But when you're coming down to the tritanium, is where you actually get hit hard. Like, but really hard. Set, but here's, here's the key you've got to, re before you build these ships, you've really got to be doing your planning to, to get the uncommons. Like, I've got 193k of uncommons right now. Yeah. So, that's where so exactly that's I'm lacking on it. So, so right now, you're 10k right ore right there. How much do you total need to get to tier four in ore well, right that's now? 50. Well, uh, that's uncommon still. That's crystal. That's crystal. And now you ran out of something. Uh, oh no, it's be platinum. 50K. 50K. 20k. 20k. 163. Jesus, well, 163 not... million. Cost him 130k in the Latinum to get that part up there. So we're looking at 14k, 24k you need. Yeah, so we're looking at 24, 26k and ore you need right now to get up there. Yeah. You get it to tier four. It's about, yeah, it's about 46k at tier four. So watching this, we saw Archimedes just blow a buttload of, well, experience or a buttload of uh ore and crystal and tritanium for g5 area a lot of you guys would be like oh my god this is a lot but this is just a normal for this level range which they haven't even done a quality of life advancement for this one yet which is needs to be done already when it comes to these ships but it costs money to get up here and archimedes did grind out this ship for free so he did grind it out he does spend a little on the game but he has grinds it he ground ground out the ship for free and all technicality. And now let's see. We had 179 K or 117 million, 179 million at a dock as 200 X slots currently at tier three. And let's take a look at it in space. Let's bring around in space. And let's bring the Corvus out next door. And then the disco. They're about the same size. Skin still blotchy. They're all about the same size. So yeah, he just built one of the coolest ships in the game, in my opinion. The brown north cut next to it. The one I still need to video on. Damn. Dang. All right, guys. Yeah. Well, that's the video for you guys. You can see the Crozier in action. 170 million power. Right. Oh, that's the the, uh, the the North Star, North Cut. So don't forget to follow, guys. Don't forget to like, that subscribe, and that bell notification down below. Don't forget, there is a Discord to join. If you guys hit that, just come join the Discord. Don't forget to leave a comment if you like the video or just want to do the video. And don't forget, there are donation links down below at PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. All right, guys, it is No One Shall signing out. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.